In this video, I convert up a master of executions. Hello Bitsbrew, that's Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here. And in this conversion video, I'm making my own master of executions for the Chaos Space Marines. So, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the um, GW miniature, so I thought, why not convert my own up? And hopefully um, this video will give you guys some ideas how to make one of your own if you feel the same way or you just want to make a um, cool conversion of a miniature of a giant axe. So yeah, before we begin, if you are new to the channel, then um, welcome. And if you like all things hobby related, then do feel free to hit that subscribe button. We try and put out one or two videos every week at least. And um, before we begin, as always, just a huge shout out and a massive thank you to all our patrons. You guys help us put out um, the amount of content that we do and really support the channel. So if you want to know what our Patreon is all about, there is a link down below. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so a master of executions. So yeah, I'll admit I'm not a massive fan of the GW miniature. So I thought it would be a good video to make my own. Because sort of rules wise, he's not terrible. And you know, you can convert one up pretty easily. So I'm going to start with the Aspiring Champion body from the Havocs. In fact, this is my Aspiring Champion that I built for my Havocs, and as you can see, I've took some pieces off him. Um, I was hoping to get another one, but they've been out of stock on GW for a while. Um, as, as I'm filming this video, they might be back in stock now, hopefully, by the time this video goes out, because I would like to get some more to sell bits to you guys. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just use my one. It's going to be a while before I get around to painting these buggers, so... He's not going to be missed anytime soon. But as the um, original model is on a 40mm base, I think this sort of works better than a regular Chaos Space Marine. I mean, you could build it off the Plastic Lord if you want, or something else. But I think the Aspiring Champion body for the Havocs works really well. Looks pretty cool. And definitely suitable for a character miniature. And yeah, so bear in mind, this is a 40mm Terminator size base, so it's quite large. So, I think we'll start with the axe, of course. So the axe, I'm using this one from the Plague Marines. It's a two-handed axe. One of my um, one of my issues with the miniature is that he's holding that massive axe in one hand, and yeah, it'd probably be quite epic for him to swing it about with one hand, but it's just a bit silly. And um, if he was holding two hands, I think he'd look awesome, and that's what I want this guy to do. Um, anyone who is sort of familiar with my Typhus video, where I basically kickstarted this whole sort of conversion video series, it's the same sort of principle. It's just what I like. If you've got a big epic weapon, I like someone holding it with two hands. So, yes, yeah, what we're going to do with this guy. Now, this axe, of course, is very sort of nerglefied. Um, that, that might not suit your army. Um, for me personally, it does. I'm doing the cleave, so that's sort of a bit nergly. I'm just firing some crap off here. So that sort of suits me, but if it doesn't suit you, you could maybe replace the axe head, fill in these bits with green stuff, quite easy enough to do, I'd thought. Smooth it out with a file, that'll give you quite a nice smooth look on the axe. Um, but essentially, I'm going to glue his arms on and hope they actually fit on this body now, I believe they, they should do. Good thing about sort of chaos and space marines is that so, so many pieces all fit each other. Now there are still little bits of flash and crap on here, I know. Um, I'm only doing these videos as a guide. I can clean it all up later on. I'm not too concerned, but any bits where there's joints, obviously, I need to remove pieces. But yeah, I'm going to do both the arms. And get them glued on. So with this axe, he sort of holds it across. Oh, doesn't want to stay on there. He sort of holds it across his body, which is okay. Now we've got this weird little tentacle thing on there. Um, yeah, he's going to hold it across. It's sort of going down. I prefer it more up. I mean, it sort of feels the other way around. Obviously, we can't do that because of how the arms are. I would prefer that, but even so, with him sort of climbing up on the rock, he's got my hand out of the way. That's what sort of going down like that. I think that works. So, yeah, I'm going to let this dry. And 
I'm probably actually going to snip off this little tentacle thing and who knows, maybe get some green stuff and hang it down or something, I don't know. But I think it's just going to end up going to, I don't know, or it might actually go into his chest. Maybe I'll just get it green stuffed into his chest. There's like a little bit there, you can see that? Maybe it could join up to that with a little bit of green stuff. Now normally I don't do, um, play around with green stuff in these videos, so you just have to use your imagination and know that in the future I'll just add a little bit of green stuff there. But yeah, I'll let this dry and I'll get that glued onto his body. And there's some other bits obviously I want to add, and I still haven't decided at this stage what head I'm going to use, but obviously it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to have a route around for one anyway. Okay, so that's still drying, but it's pretty much there. So, some of you might be watching thinking, well, you know, this guy's covered in like bones and things like that. Um, what are you going to do about that? Well, I was just having a little rummage around when I was planning this video and I had one of these spare Greater Possessed backpacks, which I think is just going to be perfect for this guy. So he's going to have that. I'll chop that little thing off there. I may add a little trophy rack or something to it as well. But yeah, um, he has like a cape made of, um, well not a cape, but like a sort of um, a little sort of robe made of skin. He has sort of bones and stuff on him. Obviously it's going to be a bit harder to replicate all that, so this sort of goes a little way into doing that. And um, one of the shoulder pads I picked also keeps the theme quite nicely as well, and you'll see that very soon. And this backpack should pretty much just go on. If you're really pedantic, you could file the back down a bit so it doesn't stick out as much, because obviously these have these are Havoc bodies, so a backpack sort of cover that sort of back bit, um, don't really bother me, so, yeah, I think that's quite a cool backpack to go on there, she sticks up quite a bit, but once he gets his head on there, that won't be as noticeable, so, yeah, as I was saying, shoulder pad, um, shoulder pad, not plural, but I will get another one, um, this is how well these videos are planned, but, when I was chopping this off the um, Plague Marines, I noticed I have this shoulder pad with loads of skulls on. I think it's really cool. So, and that sort of um, works well on him if any glue wants to come out. A little dollop on there. We'll put that on as well. So, in regards to the other shoulder pad, I'll just get any old one um, from the Chaos Space Marine set. I've got loads kicking about. Um, when I say any old one, it'll be, it'll be a nice one. But yeah, so I'll get that added, and then there's a couple of little bits more, including the head, which I, at this stage, again, I still haven't quite decided, but I will. So one little thing that I really wanted to add to this is some severed heads. Now, of course, the original model was holding some severed heads, so I thought, where better to go than the uh, Deadwalker zombie set has these sort of severed heads. Now he's not going to be holding them, so I'm going to have to attach them, attach them to him. So I was thinking this nice nice bare area on the legs here. Maybe stick a bit of glue on his belt. And I'll stick them on there like so. Probably have to do this off camera. Might have to put something in there for a bit of pressure. Oh, or not. They seem to yeah, just a little bit of pressure on that. There we go. They do stick out a little bit. Um, some of these older pieces aren't as, aren't as great as sort of newer stuff, but... I mean, you could have it on his back if you prefer. It's entirely up to you, but I'm going to have it there. That's fine. Sort of swinging about as he walks along. Okay, so... And the backpack's still a bit wobbly, that just does not want to dry properly. And the next thing I was going to add is a trophy rack. Now, I did get one of these from the uh, old Chaos Space Moon set, um, but I'm just not 100% sure about it, it just sticks up so far. And, and yeah, I can see why GW has sort of gone away from these. But I've recently just built my Terminators and had oh, one of these spare, just one of their trophy racks spare. Can't, I can't hold it. <laughs> Butterfingers, as always. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of just taking these three middle ones. 
So chopping down, obviously. And then I might have to do a little bit of filing on the backpack. And then they can just sit in the middle like so. But as I say, it, just, it does not want to dry. Everything else is dry and this backpack just does not want to know. But I'll persevere and try and get on without knocking the backpack off. And then we will get to the all important head, which again, at this stage, I still don't know what to use. But um, if you're making one of these yourself, it just doesn't matter what head you use. You can use anything and it will look awesome. So I just need to find the most awesome head that I have spare. Okay, so after a little rummage around, it turns out I don't have that <laughs> much of a great selection of heads to use. Um, I did find some, and I think this might be a first for the conversion videos, but it's a non-GW piece. I found this head. It's a Spellcrow head. And that's hooded, and he's got no robes, so, you know. And it's not that chaos here, I suppose. But it's got that executioner vibe. I think it might work. Now, of course, this is just what I'm using. These aren't step-by-step -step guides for you guys to follow. You might get to this stage and think, actually, that head's crap. I've got something much better. And use that. Also, um, if, if you guys have any sort of thoughts on what would make a better head, if you, do, you, know, if you do or don't like this one, then definitely leave comments down below. I'd love to hear some alternatives. And um, there's there's loads of stuff. But I thought just this sort of just makes it obvious that he's an executioner, you know. So if I put plonk this guy down on the table, people will probably sort of know what he is. Um, again, we've got a play of a funky neck. Yeah, let's not go there. So <laughs> necks are giving me all kind of aggro lately, but a nice GW head would have fit in there so nicely. Um, these are sort of designed to fit GW stuff, obviously, but they're not perfect. So yeah, I'm using super glue because this piece is made out of resin, as you can see by the completely different colour of it. And we're going to have it up like that. And hopefully it's going to stay there. And yeah, that is our master of executions, so I'll give this a bit of time to dry and then we'll look at him better for an outro. So here he is, our finished, well, I say finished, obviously not painted and not cleaned up, um, master of executions. There's a nice big old mold line going down there I've got to clean up, but do that before it comes to the painting stage. Um, yeah, sort of in hindsight, I think I prefer the axe up that way, that's just just a um, preference of mine. Um, if he didn't have his leg up here, sort of walking forward, then that would certainly be a bigger issue, but I think it kind of works in that sort of pose. That's just how it come. That's how it comes on the um, uh, Plague Marine Sprue. Um, you could use completely different arms, I reckon, and get that repositioned, which in hindsight is something I could have done, um, but I don't even know if I have arms available to do that at this stage. I suppose I could use anything but yeah you know it looks like he's ready to take a swing anyway so that's the pretty cool and yeah just turn him around you can see the skulls on the shoulder pad there so we're keeping up with and we're keeping with that sort of theme of skulls and bones and that and again on the backpack we've got the bones and the skull and we've got his spikes up there now these are just the ones I had spare from the Chaos Terminators um, obviously if you've got some spare cast time once you have you might have one some more skulls and stuff on which would be really cool but this works and then of course we've got the hanging heads there a bit chunkier than I would like but such as the older miniature pieces but I don't think they work quite well and yeah and again the head there's a million options for head for this guy I mean the obvious thing we could go back to the reaver heads the like the skull helmets but I've I use them so much, and regular viewers will know, because um, they are awesome, and they would work so well on this guy, but yeah, that sort of executioner's sort of style hood, a little mask, I think works really well, so yeah, I'm happy with it, I prefer this over the GW miniature, I just, sometimes there's just miniatures you just don't get on with, 
and that's just a matter of opinion of course but that is one that yeah I really don't like so it just it's a good opportunity to make my own so yeah that's what I've done and I hope you guys have enjoyed it and of course if you have then please do give it a thumbs up and yeah any comments below um, as I said if you have any sort of really cool ideas for a head certainly love to hear that hear them and if you have any suggestions for conversion videos then definitely leave me a comment down below because um, I have a couple of ideas still but I'm sort of running out now so and my next um, idea is still chaos themed so yeah just literally anything any game system um, that uses 32 mil or 28 mil scale or whatever it is <laughs> these days um, yeah definitely leave a comment down below I will try and do whatever I can and yeah um, thank you so much for watching. I've babbled on enough. I'll see you all again in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out, and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.